Hey guys, welcome back to the card review series. So as you can tell, kind of running out of cards to talk about. So right now I'm just going to do a couple of suggestion videos. So today we are looking at Magic Deflector. It was suggested by Wesley D. Reiter or the Reuter? I don't know. So we're just going to go ahead and look at this card and you know see how it would fare in today's current meta. So Magic Deflector is a, a normal trap card that pr states... For the rest of this turn, negate all equip, field, continuous, and quick play spell effects on the field. So, it's pretty much like a trap stun for spells. And, you know what? That's actually fairly interesting. That you can go ahead and play this. Now, keep in mind, if you play it during the wrong time, it can be neg one like trap stun. But, if you play your cards right, you might be able to make something fizzle. And that's definitely a key play if you could pull off that one for one by making something fizzle and chaining a response to uh, one of these kind of spell cards being activated. You can go ahead and make the card fizzle. I mean, unless it's like a, I mean, unless it's like an occult spell or a fill spell or a continuous, then they'll just be like negated. But you know, definitely quick play spells, and that's the one thing that uh, that you might want to hit a lot is quick play spells. You know, uh, for example, some uh, popular spells that are going around. Uh, are of course MST, so you know your opponent has to MST something, you can just go ahead and activate Magic Deflector, chain resolve backwards the magic the, the I would say the magic deflector fizzle their MST fizzles. Another one is that artifact ignition, you know, uh, artifacts are getting a little bit of hype, so you might want to go ahead and shut that down. But my biggest problem with this card is the fact that it doesn't hit normal spells. Like trap stun, you know, pretty much covers all the traps, you know, unless you're, you know, chaining it to something, but if you go ahead and just go, you know, uh, to start of my turn, traps done, you have no, you know, spells be three effects or anything, then tra traps are just done, period. This, you activated, that could still play normal spells, and to tell you the truth, normal spells are probably the most powerful <laughs> in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. You know, uh, most of our staples are, you know, are at, that are at one are, you know, normal spells, you know? You can go ahead and activate your magic deflector. I'll still slap you in the face with the dark hole. Bet you didn't see that coming. One of the scariest spell cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now is a normal spell, and that is Soul Charge. So, you know, you activate magic deflector, your opponent can still play Soul Charge. <laughs> and the thing is, if you activate magic deflector and then they activate Soul Charge, uh, your your spells are also would be negated. So, you know, if you have something like a Book of Moon ready to go, oh, that's going to get negated. So, you know, that's definitely a problem. Overall, it's not the best card this format. This format's more of a trapper light format. You know, we're getting more heavier and nittier and, nittier and grittier. Uh, in my opinion, the traps... The traps are definitely changed around, and they're at an all-time high. But what's definitely at an all-time high is definitely the trap hate. The back row hate is definitely increasing. And, uh, you know, we're going from cards that we, you know, used to love to play, like, uh, you know, Lance, for example, uh, where we're not even really playing Lance anymore because... Lance is pretty much too slow. You know, pe people are main decking Black Horn of Heaven. What the hell is Lance gonna do to a Black Horn of Heaven? S sit there in your hand and look stupid while your monster is being taken away by a freaking, a freaking horn, <laughs> a freaking Van Geek horn. <laughs> anyway, I I know I really can't talk shit. I was actually in band in high school too. But oh, whatever, I'm getting off topic. Uh. People are taking out Fiendish Chain, putting in a uh, breakthrough skill. And people are, you know, main decking two, maybe three wiretap. So, you know, uh, just keep that in mind. That, you know, uh, I'm not saying that Magic Deflector is a bad card, but it's really not. It's meta right now. That, uh, you know, you got to keep in mind uh, what time period and what state uh, that we're in. And, you know, against, like, you know, trap tricks doesn't really do much, you know, they're, they're kind of a slow deck, they like to play a lot of normal spells, like, you know, Pot of Duality, and Upstart Goblin, so, you know, Magic Reflector isn't going to do anything, uh, for Madoches, um, really, the only thing that they play that you could probably hit is, you know, you could hit their, 
their ticket and their chateau for a turn. But then after that, they, they're they finally released off the magic deflector, so essentially you just negged one. <laughs> so that's not the best, you know. I'd rather you play something like Dust Tornado if you're already running the max number of MSTs. <laughs> You know, not everybody can play that artifact condition. You gotta have an artifact in the deck to even play the cards, and not everybody can run that. Uh, what else? Um, Bujans. Bujans, they play, they play Polyduality, so you won't be able to get that, but they are, on the other hand, they do play Tunky, so you can chain a response, so it'd be like another MST. You can go ahead, they'll go play Tunky, and they'll be like response, you can go Magic Deflector, and the card would fizzle, so they wouldn't get their search. That's okay. So. That's one of the best things you could probably hit. Um, spell books have a lot of just normal spell cards. The only thing that you, they wouldn't be able to do is what? Fate. Okay, you can make Fate fizzle. So they can go ahead and, you know, activate Fate. And you can go ahead and just Magic Deflector. <laughs> so that card would fizzle. But lots of lots of normal spell cards, you know. Spell book of... Oh, well, they, they can't Wisdom anymore either. Uh, I guess that's okay, but you know, no, you know, you won't be able to get secrets, master of power. Uh, you know, tower would what fizzle for the turn. So I guess uh, during like their draw phase, he flips this up, and they won't be able to do their whole. You know, put a card at the bottom, draw a card. I guess. See, you see, see. Most of these are just I guess, I guess, I guess. You know, there's better plays and there's better things that you can pull off besides this that. The trap aspect uh, of just stunning your opponent, that works more for trap stun, where, you know, you stun your opponent with trap stun, and you go off and you slap the shit out of them. The same is not with magic cards. Magic cards are different. Those are like, you know, magic cards, the majority of the time, they're like tech, help you out, uh, you know, get you out of this situation, you know help you be more consistent cards. They're not really the ones that, you know, you should be fearing when you're going for your plays, you know? And that's why Trap Stun is, is so much better than this card. You know, like, if you're really afraid of getting the crap smacked out of you by magic cards on your turn, when you play your cards, like, then you must have a Book of Moon phobia because there's not much that spell cards are really going to pull off in the competitive circuit that are going to hinder your plays. So, Really, this would just kind of be like a cheap card to kind of make things fizzle, you know? But then once again, there's better cards to handle this situation, you know? If you're going to go ahead and, you know, activate this card to, you know, stop like a continuous spell from doing its thing, you know, MST is a thing, Dustin is a thing, heck, the majority of the things that you want to hit with this card to make it fizzle, you could just play Mistake instead, so... Once again, this card is just pretty much being outclassed by just a whole bunch of other better cards, and and I can see why this card is not even that expensive, because no one's really going to play it, and I really I don't see this card, you know, ever being that meta unless all of a sudden the top tier deck just runs a shit ton of different spells, and, and that's the thing, that there was a meta deck that ran a shit ton of spells, i.e. spellbooks, but they were a majority of the same thing, and that's the thing, this card can't hit normal spells. That it can't hit normal spells. I mean, one of the cute plays that I guess you can do is activate this and on Noble Knights, and then their Noble Arms are, you know, stuck for a turn, and you can take out their monster that they went ahead and went, like, oh, a quick knight can't be destroyed, and I can't be targeted, and, and you can't even think about my card, and you can't even look at my card on their Noble Knights. But, uh, that's not even a a competitive deck, so, you know, at this point, I'm kind of scraping the barrel at really what you can hit, you know, Mermails, they don't really play spell cards like that, you know, uh, they play MST, but doesn't everybody, you know, you can't get their salvage, that's a normal spell, and there's just not much you can do, <laughs> so definitely this card is not really that great in the meta, um, Let's see, Wesley pretty much said, basically, a trap's done for spells. The only one I've heard talk about this card is RJB0. What's your opinion about it? All right, well, uh, I was going to see if you wanted me to talk about anything else about the card, but that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, it's basically a trap's done for meta, except that you're not hitting the best kind of spell this format. 
You know, you're, you're not. You're not. You're not hitting that normal spell, and that normal spell is big. Big. Big, 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 big. This format. Big. You know? All I gotta do is say Soul Charge. That's all I gotta say. Like, if this card can hit normal spells, if it can hit Soul Charge, then, you know, I might give it a little bit of maybe, maybe a thumbs up. Maybe, like, okay, you wanna side that? Okay, I see where you're going. They activate Soul Charge, and you're like, nope, fizzle, 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 fizzle. And they wouldn't be able to just be like, oh, oh, my card is, my card is negated. Oh, I can just play another one or something like that. No. You know, spells, period. But nope, can't get normal spells. <sighs> kind of dropping the ball there. You know, I would love for someone to activate Apollo Duality and I flip this up and that fizzles and it stops all the other uh, spell cards for the rest of the turn. That had been great, because, you know, like I said, spell cards are, you know, those picker-upper cards. Those are our, our consistency, our searchers, our key plays, you know. So, for the spell cards to be fizzled, period, including normal spells, you know, that can, that can hurt for a turn, you know, that, that can, that can shut down a couple plays, but it just can't, so, it's just not that good in my opinion, there's, either there's cards that can do a better job, or, you know, it's just not right for this current meta, so, like I said, kind of running out of ideal, dear, oh my god, I can't talk, ideals, ideals, ideas, here for um, cards to talk about in the card discussion series. So for right now, I'm just gonna do a couple of you know uh, suggestions. So if you have any suggestions, any cards that you want me to look at and talk about, be sure to comment in the comment section below. I'm gonna wait for some more cards to come out and pick up before I I talk about them. Um, if you guys are wondering when I'm actually gonna do one that's maybe relevant or new, instead of just you know old card suggestions, uh, I might talk about Rescue Rat, but the card's kind of complicated. It's going to take me a while to, you know, you know, sit down and really analyze the card and, you know, get the full grasp of what it really does. Because if you think that card is like Rescue Cat or Rescue Rabbit, you will be totally wrong. So, yeah. So, just look forward to that episode. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, probably not this week. Maybe, like, in upcoming weeks. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys on Thursday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.